Today I'm going to show you how to swap out the uh, standard default RAM. Um, I believe it's two 4 gig RAM modules that are in there. It's DDR4 and um, I'm going to swap it so it's or it's total 8 gigs. So I'm going to swap it for the 64 gigs that I've ordered. It's taken me a long time to be able to afford these components, um, but I figured I might as well just go ahead and max it out now rather than uh, slowly add RAM as I can afford it. <laughs> so it's just a, it's a bit of an expense, but it'll be worth it. So here we go. Try to keep this as straight as possible. So uh, the door opens by pressing this button that releases this door. And I've already done that and you pull this down and you wiggle out the RAM modules. These are the original ones. Oops, upside down. Okay. So here are the new ones. Okay, so here we are. It's kind of a weird setup, I know, but here's the back of my iMac. Hopefully that's in focus. Yes, okay, so I've taken the two four gigabyte DDR4 RAM modules out and uh, that's eight gigs total and I don't need them anymore since I have the 64 gigs or that, since I've purchased that and that's what I'm about to put in. So I'm gonna try to sell them. Um, I'm sure I can because they're brand new and they're actually worth quite a bit of money uh, since this is the latest edition of iMac available. Uh, so here's my 64 gigs. I know it's kind of hard to see. Um, I've ordered them from OWC, which is Other World Computing. I've been using them for years. Uh, they ship fast. I think it was free shipping, uh, over $49. And it's just, they've always just provided a really great product. And they have a like a lifetime warranty, limited lifetime warranty. But here we go. It's a nice view right there. Okay, so I'm going to take the first module. So these are each 16 gig modules. And there are four slots in here. So I'm going to go ahead and just put all four of these in each of the four slots. I'm going to start on the bottom because I feel like it. I'm going to push it in as far as it goes, but not too hard because I don't want to break anything. And when you're dealing with these, it's important to just try your best. Actually, I mean, really, just hold it from the sides like this. Um, the components on, on either side are very fragile, and uh, I... I know that you can do damage to them. Yeah, make sure you just hold it like this from the side, from each side. Sometimes it takes two hands. So I know it's a little hard to see since you're really close. Phone, concentration. Okay, so push it in. Got two more. Hopefully this machine fires up, fires up. And it's super fast, I hope. That's the goal. Missed. Oh, good catch. Saying good catch to myself, I know. Sometimes you have to encourage yourself just a little bit, you know? Okay, final one. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You can't see that, yay. Here we go. Ah. I should stop and focus for a second. All right, so see how they're all lined up like soldiers in there? And I've pushed them in. They don't click or anything. Um, so you don't know, you just wanna make sure that they're all aligned. So I'm gonna push these in, these side thingies. And that kind of helps it snap into place. Let's see, oops. May have to spread them. Okay, so they do kind of, clip into place so I didn't have it have them in far enough I didn't realize so um, what I'm doing is I'm holding the other side of the machine right now not in the actual display area but on the bottom and I'm going to leverage myself up against the machine and push them in as far as it'll go see how that kind of clicked there we go do you hear that tiny little okay so they're all in there and I know that they're secure one because they don't feel like they're gonna fall out but two these should go up just like that. 
see uh, before I didn't have them in far enough so they couldn't these two side thingies I'm gonna call them uh, levers couldn't clip up because they just weren't in far enough so everything is strategically supposed to clip upwards so that this fancy schmancy door can go back in so now I have the new ram in 64 gigs and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, begin to place this back in I think it just kind of yep just like that so I didn't show you the beginning but I'll show you right now so I'm actually going through the hole back here see how you can see the power cord plug well the release button ooh, that keeps falling the release button is actually I'm gonna stick my there we go right there so you're gonna hit that and hit it, not hit it, you're gonna press it with something sharp or point, not sharp, but maybe a pen, sole, pencil, not a pen, because you don't wanna write on it. But if you push that in, that'll release this, this cage, let's call it a cage right here. So that's the end, I uh, hope this was helpful. And if you have any questions, leave them below. If you liked this video, if it was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, then thumbs down. I Either way, I'm happy to have any feedback. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.